Toy Holness has revealed that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were allegedly removed from VIP seats at Caribe 5 in Jamaica after an apparent attempt by Meghan to flirt with directors in the front row. The couple attended a film premiere in Kingston, Jamaica, where they were seen engaging with Bob Marley's family during the showing of Bob Marley One Love. On the red carpet, Meghan and Harry were observed smiling and holding hands, with Harry even posing for pictures with Ziggy Marley, Bob and Rita Marley's son. While some speculated about a potential Hollywood debut, experts dismissed the notion, stating that the couple currently has no careers in Hollywood. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams commented on the situation, noting that Meghan and Harry's appearance in Jamaica seemed calculated to attract attention during a challenging week for the royal family. He emphasized that the couple should be cautious about their next moves, especially considering their perceived struggles in the entertainment industry. Fitzwilliams pointed out Harry's involvement in charitable organizations and the potential risks to their existing partnerships with platforms like Spotify and Netflix. The report highlighted an incident where Harry found himself ousted from VIP seating at the Living Legends of Aviation Awards, suggesting a pattern of unexpected seating arrangements for the couple. Additionally, Meghan's alleged desire to become a producer and win an Oscar was discussed, with claims that she is strategically networking and attending events like movie premieres to gain visibility on red carpets. To attend the premiere, Meghan reportedly purchased a ticket from Toy Holness, who also sold her the opportunity to attend the event but not in VIP seating. The article suggested that Meghan's goal is to attract investments into Archwell, the production company where she holds a management role by connecting with influential individuals in Hollywood, such as Ted Sandoz, Jeff Bezos, Tyler Perry, Oprah, Ellen DeGeneres, and the Paramount CEO. The report questioned the feasibility of this strategy, considering Megan's limited work experience and the challenges of securing significant funding for a production company. Meanwhile, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle reached out to King Charles and Kate Middleton after getting to know about their respective health scares. However, the couple did not discuss it despite making a surprise public appearance at the premiere of Bob Marley biopic in Jamaica. Speaking with GB News, royal commentator Phil Dampier claimed that the Sussexes would have gained sympathy if only they had made a public statement about Charles and Kate's surgeries. He also said that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are likely to be concerned about health matters while adding that they may have made contact privately. If they had made a public declaration, there would be a certain sympathy for them, he said. There might have been private contact. I'm sure they are worried. They haven't made anything public and I think that is the contrast, they are enjoying themselves and probably went to the premiere by a private jet, he added. It does look like they are swanning about and enjoying themselves when there is real concern for many members of the royal family.